What's going on? Call the family meeting. Because apparently she's the queen. Hey, don't start shit. You stay up all night with the screaming baby and tell me that. I'm not invited. I just didn't want to wake you. All right. So, it used to be that we had a squirrel fund. And everybody contributed what they could, but I carried the bulk of it because I was the only grown-up. The time's passed and things have changed. Most of us are grown-ups now. Or at least pretending to be. So, I ran the numbers and I came up with a system that I think is fair. What's this? That's your share. That's what you have to pay every month towards the bills if you want to stay here. We want to stay here? If you want us all to stay together, to stay a family. Otherwise, I'll rent out your rooms or sell the house and everyone can fend for themselves. Why is mine higher than Carl's? Because Carl doesn't need diapers and rash cream and baby food. Well, I fired Julie Yemi because I can't afford to pay her anymore. How am I going to afford $375? You're not in school depths. You could get a job. Who's going to watch the baby? Not my problem. The house belongs to me. I'm not going to be paying rent. The house and the bills are all in my name, and it's my credit that's fucked if we don't pay. And it's not rent. It's water and power and property taxes. Right, since when do you care about your credit? Since now. The only one who gets a free ride around here anymore is Liam. So if you're out of work, file for disability or welfare, or get a job. I want you all to put me at the bottom of your emergency contact list. Put Lip first. And then Ian. And then Kevin V. And then me. Because I have a plan for my life. And I can't do it if I'm getting a call every five minutes about one of you. And just so we're clear, I am just as likely as anyone else in this family to make something of myself. And it's about time you got that, you arrogant shit. You see?